time for another draft, guys. We're gonna go ahead and do... Uh, not even on the list. Ranked Throne of Eldraine draft. Got it. Once upon a time, card's good. I like this black uncommon knight as well. Band cards are good. Twitch chat, what do you guys like here? I feel like on first impression, once upon a time would be the pick. Oh, we should switch to this as well. Um, but I also think that I'm kind of sick of drafting green. So like, I don't know, I kind of want like, you know, black blue or black red knights. This black red knights is my favorite in the format and I don't get to draft it very often. you can ban something in standard but that they, they can't remove them from the packs right this is drafting so ban cards are always still legal and limited they're not gonna be like you don't get a rare today i don't know that they've ever banned anything in limited you can even play more than four of something if you draft them in limited there are very few rules here but overall the pick is weak it's not great I think it's probably the strongest card in the pack next to Once Upon a Time. Maybe Air Suplex is pretty decent. Yes, you can absolutely still run Oko in a draft. Yes. Yeah, that would be really shitty of them to take away a card out of Limited and be like, well, you just didn't open a rare, buddy. Sucks to be you. <laughs> I've never drafted the dwarves deck either, though. That That's cool. How does that work? Is it per dwarf or per dwarf with the same name? Like, does this dwarf trigger on there? I actually don't know. I've never read the card fully. I have been fucked by that deck a couple of times. You can run full art Oko. In a 2HG sealed? I did. Yeah, yeah. It's only the seven dwarves? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna draft this knight. I think I want to try to stay away from green. We'll probably end up in green anyway, but I don't want to. Oh, look, this knight's really good. Look at that. Trebuchet? Hmm. <laughs> we have a very important decision here, guys. All right, chat, one for, for the, for the white card, a two for the trebuchet. We're going to let chat decide. We're going black, white knights or black, red knights. Or maybe we're just fucking Mardu. Actually, maybe, you know, trebuchets have been wheeling. Why don't we just take this bitch and then we hope we get those Mardu lands. Red does not look very open. Let's pick two. I mean, there could just not be another red card in this pack. It's very, very possible. Do you sub to get them after you unlock them or what, nerd girl? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Uh, locked in a tower. Innkeeper's pretty cool. This is a good knight as well, but I think removal is harder to find. So maybe locked in a tower? Trapped in a tower?
I think trapped in a tower over the tactician. Green's looking good. But fairy guide mother. Fairy guide mother too for an aggressive deck. Black is not seeming open. So maybe it looks like this. The giant ogre I always get enough of. I like the untap pump spell. I actually like this guy more than this guy. But the tre trebuchet triggers off that. And we have the menace. So well, this is probably not going to stay. Yeah, black is just not open, so... We'll get more of these. Let's see where we want to go here. Tre yes! Rebuchet! Oh! Look at that. And a knight? Alright, alright. So we didn't end up black, red knights, white red knights, which just still has the trebuchet in it, which is still, you know. Giant killer? Hopefully we wheel the fling or this. Maybe the fox will wheel? Fox would be good. Talisman's not good, right? I don't think that thing's worth that much. tactician hopefully we wield a peasant the merchant guy you missed my last question I was wondering how does the bit emotes work and how to unlock and use them so when anybody subscribes to the channel or donates bits it unlocks emotes randomly for people in the channel um, so you just hang out in channels and if someone does that you'll get it'll give out um, when you when someone subscribes it'll say you know so and so has gifted three subs to the channel or three emotes so that means three people in the channel got a bonus uh, of some sort i really like fling in this deck this is a really early fling i think we can probably wheel this one but i don't think I mean, we could spec on this in case we want to go into the Mardu Knights. If we get the lands, this might be worth it. But, I mean, we'd have to get, like, at least two of the lands for it to be worth it. Maybe that's fine? Oh. Stupid oven. We want this. Oh, no. Fuck, we're not in black now. I wanted this oven in this last draft. go black white we have two bolt we have two black cards only if anything we would switch into white black because this guy's good in the in the deck especially if we can get a couple a couple of clovers and we could just go three colors too and just pray hard three colors i think it's better than this i don't think we want another fairy guide mother those dang lands is what we need. Trebuchet! Ooh, that's a really late Scorching Dragon Fire. Someday I want to get an oven and two of these. Someday. Gadget, someday. This will help fix. So it looks like red white knights is still on the table here. There's the fling we were thought would wheel. Possibility as well. We already got one, right? Is 
I don't think we'd run the slipper, but... Henge. Baked into a pie is double black. Lucky Clover does not do much for us. We got a lot of really good cards in this pack. Unfortunately, not a lot of good ones for us. Ooh, Lucky Clover, double fairy godmother. That is a thing. Also double Rimrock Knight. We got a second trapped in a tower, a sep second tactician. It's also great. Baked into a pie, we might splash black, but that's double black, so that's off limits. Uh, Great Henge is 40 gems. If we choose to, you know, just take one for the team and get 40 gems for free. Jen, there was an LOL at the end of his comment, so I think he was joking. I think it's Lucky Clover. Oh fuck, Trapped in a Tower 2 is so good. You guys think we're gonna get any more adventures? Is Lucky Clover good enough with Double Fairy Guide Mother? I don't think it is. That's a fuck ton of damage, though. They just end up taking eight more damage than they weren't expecting on taking, because they're like, oh, they've got two two twos or something, I can just block them both. And you're just like, just kidding, they both get plus two plus one and flying. How could you even consider Henge? Nobody is considering Henge. One person mentioned it as a joke, because they were laughing, and I mentioned it as 40 gems, because it is just 40 gems. If I take that card, I get 40 gem refund. So like, at a certain point, how good is the card that we're taking versus 40 gems? Sometimes you're willing to take like, you know, a 10th playable pick or whatever, you just take gems over it. is not right because we're not running black cards it the the real pick is trapped in a tower lucky clover tactician we're, we have no black cards guys and we're not running double black with no fixing Yes, Mad Hatter. Clover will make future adventure cards better if we find them. We got two votes for Clover. I think Clover is the long shot, least consistent card of the three, but it's the most fun. I think the correct pick is Trapped in a Tower, but I'm gonna take the Clover because we wanna kill. Oh yes, Clover number two. Oh, we shouldn't have passed that third fairy guide mother. Oh, trebuchet! Trebuchet, do you think it'll wheel? One, two, we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five cards in the pack back. I think it'll wheel. Oh, we have double trebuchet. I should have taken that trebuchet. Oh my God, there's so much good stuff in this pack. Oh, please let the trebuchet wheel. Please let the trebuchet wheel. Oh my gosh. We have double lucky clover. Should we consider the unicorn over this? I don't think so. This also might just wheel. Uh, I don't want any of these cards. I'm gonna take the glitters for the vault value. Um, Joust is pretty good for us removal wise. What's our four drop slot look like? Just a bit practically non-existent. Alright guys, we need that trebuchet to wheel.
I think it's Joust. Searing. I think we take se our first Searing over our second Tactician, and I'll, I'm off this black train. Fuck that. Tactician works really well with the double Lucky Clover, but... We have no removal. We have got one good removal spell. Tournament ground? We're not putting... We're not splashing... Uh, Bell of the Brawl with one black source. I don't think so. If this would have came in pack two, I would have dug a little harder for it, but it's Tactician or Searing. It's actually really tough. The Lucky Clovers make me want to go with Tactician for for aggression, but I really think the other thing might be better. Double Tactician, that makes this better. Oh, what's our two drop slot look like, actually? We could take the Youthful Knight. Our two drop slot actually kind of sucks. Because these guys, you don't want to play if you don't have to. Especially with the double Lucky Clover, we want Rimrock Knight out to stay. And this guy kind of is poopy, so maybe we just take the two. Ooh, trapped in a tower wield? That was the pick that I thought was best. Yes, and trebuchet wield! Yes! Our dreams are all coming true. All of them. Corbin triple trebuchet. And a fling last pick. I are excited. We're gonna get so mana fucked. We have a lot of three, two drops. So for the luck, double Lucky Clover, we have Devil Fairy Guide Mother. Oh, and Giant Killer. I forgot about that. Double Rock, Double Tactician. Those are really good. I mean, we might not get it on the truck. Go to the armor. This is definitely. Oh, another reason is that land doesn't help cast the um, Torburn either. We're gonna use our new super cool sleeve that Large Fry got us. I think this one's really fucking pretty. I think this is my favorite of the three so far. rearrange these cards. This deck seems kind of nuts. Three cuts, guys. Oh, 
Sling is not as good for us. We don't have any of the, the big creatures. You guys, I'm gonna get so mana screwed with this deck. I'm gonna be so sad. Definitely uh, 16 land deck, right? We got one five drop. I think I'm fine with that. How many knights do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Triple trebuchets. Oh boy. We have almost equivalent red and white spells because I the, all the spells I've cut recently are red. So I think we go back to 8-8. Eight, eight. Torbrin is super greedy. But could be a good late game finisher. It's just me, you, and stream elements. Yeah, our viewership's been really low today. Happens. The Torborn's super greedy. I don't think we, I, I think I'd rather just not cast it than go deeper into the red and not cast things like our Tacticians, I think we're gonna win more consistently with those. a green deck I think I want to keep the giant killer I might just play it out normally Gotta slow him down. Hey, Banana. Unfortunately, the song requests are only open for subscribers.
You got five raffle tickets to the drawing. Thank you, thank you, Summer. I really, really do appreciate that. It's awesome. Four, five. He's two mana away from that. Here is a song request, guys. I'm gonna take four. Um, can we get some hype in the channel, please, for Summer's Gifted Subs? That's a really big deal. Very, very much appreciated. You got raffle tickets for the event on Sunday, Saturday. Perfect knowledge, right? I think we win this race with the cookie, but I'm not 100%. And I can also start tapping the cookie. This thing's double striking. I think I'll trade here. I, I almost, I had to double check. I was like, is it double strike or is it first strike? I was a little confused. instant. We can do four-ish damage a turn. But he can gain life too. So we want to make sure we kill him in a couple of turns. That was an interesting song request. I actually kind of liked it. I don't want to miss any of these trebuchet triggers. Oh, I really want to draw a fucking Torberin.
This thing's first striked, so I don't think he's going to attack with this, but... It is a, a weird Golgari Knights deck. There's not a whole lot of green knights, but this is indeed one of them. I think we're being very annoying. This deck is cool! I forgot this thing out of reach. Oops, I forgot this little spider was chilling over here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Fairy guide mother, fairy guide mother. Trebuchet is the real way to go. Deck is sweet. So any knight, any adventure, which our entire deck is just mostly those things. That wasn't one of them, though. That wasn't one of them. You okay. a feeling at some point we're gonna get the swordsmith with a pump spell thrown at us but 
Torberin lethal. Torberin lethal. Oh, ooh. We actually just have lethal with uh, the giant killer, right? We giant killer tap this, send in with the, the tactician. And he didn't eat the cookie. <laughs> when I tapped it, he can't eat it. This deck is fun. I have a feeling it's going to do very poorly. Usually the decks I like the most and the ones I'm the most excited about do very bad. <laughs> Um, I think I need both colors of land. Maybe we throw one tactician back in case we never find a white. Oh, whatever. Fine. Eek! Oh, rewarded. Super rewarded. No more land. Oh shit. Not this nonsense again. I think we have to close out quick. I don't think we can afford not to. We gotta close out quick in the air. Fairy guide mothers. We need them fairy guide mothers. The rats are gonna kill us! <laughs> no more lands, I say. Activated abilities, huh? Is this the Game Awards event? I don't know what that is. I'm just drafting. These draw decks are crazy good. Why didn't he cast these things, right? Like, he's gonna have some sort of removal or something. We have no trebuchets. We topped the, the Torbrin. We also mold. And we're going against a guy who is getting a bajillion D free rats. Why not tower the rats so it can't make. I don't think that's the way it works. It's activated abilities, right? This is a triggered ability. I think. Right? Attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Which... Has nothing to do here. Hmm. 
This is awkward. One fairy guide mother and fucking game over, man. Oh shit, them some big rats. I can't believe this thing only costs three. All right, we only have like one more turn to draw freaking fairy guide mother guys, literally one. I don't think Trebuchet will do it anymore. It'll have summoning sickness. Um. Fairy guide mother. <clears throat> so if we kill this, we'll have we can take one, two, three. So we can take three rats, put them to six. <clears throat> if he has a removal spell, a bounce spell, whatever, we die. I'm I'm accepting of this. If he has those things, then I mean we're not getting him next turn anyway. Burn, bounce, whatever. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We could have kept the tactician back. Uh, left him at 10, but then uh, if, even if that's the case, oh, he had two answers anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, so yeah, it would not have mattered at all. Here is a song request, guys. It's hard to beat that many rats. Yes. The other one it, the other one was way better, but this one was still really good. Rats are just good enough. Ah, there you are, fairy guide mother. You jerk. Okay, what are we what are we tossing here? Firstborn? Fairy guide? Our hand is so slow. Like, I don't even want to cast the fairy guide as the thing. Maybe we cast this, but that doesn't seem right either.
Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Next turn we'll guide and kill this. I don't we're not gonna attack with the Rimrock Knight, not with Fairy Guide Mother in our hand. We're very low on cards now. She's topless? She's wearing like, um... Yeah, she's kind of topless. She's got like beads. <clears throat> Our opponent's stuck on mana. So maybe we could take advantage of this. I want to block, I want to do this. Because I don't want him to be able to sack it and keep a ginger brute. If he wants to block that, he's got a two for one himself on the ginger brute. And then he takes four or five. Ooh, hello. I was not expecting that. Still two for one. Uh, and now he's pretty close to, he's just dead if we draw, um, Clover, right? But even if we don't, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, he's just dead, uh, barring a uh, way to eat food here. Summer, thank you again for the gifted sub. Gunner, Reed Snake, appreciate you guys. A lot of resubs today, too. We have over half of the subs that we got yesterday for a 12 and a half hour stream. And we are barely starting. Pretty awesome. red it might be mono red i think i actually want to just cast this i want to just slow him down i feel like i'm not gonna have the mana to do this for a while maybe that's greedy
The question is, do we want to tr save this for a trebuchet? Doesn't matter, we got this. Something, something. Nerd poet! Thank you, nerd poet! You got a raffle ticket to the drawing tonight. I appreciate the 12 months of support. It's awesome. You got a new Pokey badge. His removal's so good. play a trebuchet and would be sad. Power three or less. You're gonna regret that when I draw a land, friend. Should be a 24 month ball. I think there is a two year ball. I think you have it. Maybe, let me see. I don't know, I'll see if I can find it afterwards. No box. <clears throat> I'm worried about like a he's got so much cards damn it that is what I was worried about damn it 
He has so much good removal, it's crazy. Red cap, scorching, searing, soul. I don't know that I think we are pretty dead. dead our, our deck is very explosive if our opponent doesn't have infinite removal spells and we've also mulliganed wow and he's got a oh my gosh i don't know if i've ever seen this much removal in like removal in his deck Jiminy crickets double steering like all the uncommon stuff too not even like he's got red cap soul all of it I was like I want to cast a spell and he was like no it's like fine <laughs> you win enough to do to where we could probably just cast Fairy Guide Mother. I don't know if I liked an attack. I don't really, I don't know. I didn't really like much of anything. I think he's gonna attack with this. I'm gonna play another artifact or whatever.
He doesn't have double blue. So it could be the pay three. That's good. Double strike, you say. If he taps out, can we kill him? <laughs> Two. No! Crap. That would have been, what, two, three, four, five, six, six double strike in the air? Man, that would have been big. might have just been able to kill him. 12, 13, 14 damage. So, so close to dead. But saving the fairy guide mother until we hit the, um, one of the two lucky charms is also great. Should we kill it or should we trap in a tower it? Maybe we kill it because it's an artifact. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Hey guys, we're getting a sweet raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Thank you guys so much. Did you see the new after party stuff? I did not. I don't know what that is. Do you have a link? So we can trap in a tower this now. What, how much damage? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are slightly off lethal. whatever he plays end of turn is probably better so I saw the Theros um, commercial preview and then I saw the event that they had online check your home arena once you get done with the game all right I'll do that might have to relaunch okay It's the event. Oh, okay, yeah, I did play the event for the three packs or whatever. The deck seemed okay. But interesting, fun, and three packs. Yeah, I'm, I was excited to get the Theros packs. Um, we always do like drinking games and stuff in this channel, so opening packs is always a ton of fun, so I was definitely glad to get them. But thank you again so much for the raid. How was your stream? Hmm. We got some of the pieces, we just have no red land. better. We've mulled almost every single hand. We've been we've been struggling with our our land a lot, having only one of each or whatever.
It was good. Just a game awards watch party. Nice. I didn't know that the, the awards was already happening, admittedly. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna play another dwarf and then we won't be able to block or do anything. So I think attacking here is fine. We'll take three. Hey, Hip, you're having a whiskey night. Ooh, we have a actually a card that kills this if we can find it. is actually quite good against us. We're never going to be able to get the tactician in anyway. Correct play is to just trapped in a tower it. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have just played it. Played this next turn tower. We run out of cards so quickly, but I've also mold every time, so that's why. Yeah, tower is probably correct. Maybe not.
fairy guide mother would be uh, pretty insane. So what kind of targets are we looking for for the trapped in, uh, trapped in a tower? It's like the 3-3 three, three that pings, uh, one of the big first strikers. There's a ton of things that are, that's quite scary. Hey, Big Bob. Oh, that's a cool emote set. Jeez. That's awesome. All right, 16 land deck. No more lands. No more lands. Unless you're going to go Mountain Torbrin. Other than that, I don't want it. Made me mole every time and punish me for the 16 lands. Don't flood me too. That card's really fucking good. The question is, is why did he give it to that? If he gives it to this, my first strike doesn't work, unless this is like a barge in or the white pump spell. Can't think of anything else it would be. Oh, he just was gonna not attack. Okay. So, if I kill something with trapped in a tower, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but six. Four, five, six. I think I trap this because it's the biggest threat. And then we run this. They're both first striking. So whichever one he tries to block appropriately, we'll just... That's just lethal. That's just lethal, baby. Oh, it's not because I didn't tap right. What did I tap the other mana for? I, I auto tapped a red for my trapped in a tower. This is lethal. I'm gonna laugh so hard. If trapped in a tower just fucked me. I honestly forgot that that was... Oh, did he accidentally do the same thing? Did he tap for the joust after the fact? Oh man, we both fucked up. Should have manually tapped. You could have played Rimrock too. Aware. That's why I was confused. I thought that the tapping was correct. That was the whole point. That's how I set up lethal. We don't have the mole, it's like the first time, I think. We 
do have three double white spells, but I'm not really terribly worried about it. That works. So I'm actually pretty happy to just play the Rimrock Knight here to try to just bait out the, the cauldron here. That was a weird auto playlist switch. <clears throat> An opt, okay. Opt it is. Oh no, it's the it's the deck. Okay. I must take out the puppy before I have to clean the floor. Have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. One has three cards left. You guys think he'll blow up our Rimrock Knight? So they've cracked the Witching Well and an Opt, so they're digging for their pieces for the draw two mechanics. Oh. That's quite, well, quite good. A great draw. No, he's got it. Shit. Okay. Shit. What a slow roll on that, guys. This is like literally the only deck I've been losing to today. You hope you get to draft this. I, I don't know how it's been so... I mean, I think I've seen Mad Ratter like three times in all of the drafts I've done total. I don't know how, I don't know how it's going around so crazy right now. Awesome. 
He can't activate its ability anymore. But now we can keep our trebuchet and hopefully kill him. And Fairy Guide Mother would also kill him. Not quite, but between hopefully between Trebuchet and Tactician, we can get there in the air. Oh, we have two more Trebuchets. That's fine. This is only a red source. He plays a little flyer. He's played the same Scorching Dragonfire on me three times now. Yikes. Hopefully they break off a couple of times. It feels like the decks have been pretty consistent from their end too, which is crazy. I would think a lot of times you're just gonna end up with like three ops in your hand and then what are you gonna do? Like a whole bunch of nothing, right? I actually don't even know if I want to kill the cauldron. In all honesty. Maybe I should have waited in case he has a red pump, actually. He has like barge in for some weird reason. I, sh I deserve to be punished. I think with the fairy guide mother, I'm okay with either one of these. I decided to just play this so we can start tapping his flyer to get in. Yeesh. So many rats. Oh my god. So we have... Pretty much one turn. Well, I guess not. We're, we have a pretty high alive total. As long as we can tap with the giant killer and then the paladin. Oh, we also have the fight card, the night fight. I'm I'm really worried about run away together now though. Oh my god, this is absurd. I feel like now that he's gotten to draw so many cards, there's no way he's not gonna be able to control us out of it. Three open mana, huh? Flyer. So now run away together is no good. Or not run away together, um. That is actually just a brick. Remember that slang fire we, we passed for the Torberin? Sadness. Oh my god. He's gonna cast it four times. Oh my goodness. We could have 
maybe not. Oh no. It, it, it takes white mana, so it wouldn't have worked. Oh, actually it would have. Oh, he played another flyer. Okay, now it wouldn't have. I was gonna say, maybe we don't attack there and get him to four, and maybe we don't tap and we eat, like, give ourselves one more draw for the fairy guide mother, end, of, end, end step, tap, upkeep, tap, and then fairy guide mother if we draw it, but. How did he draw it already? Didn't he do that just now, this turn? Oh, he drew it from the tomb. That's right. Yeah, attack with that too. Please, please let me punish. Let me punish. He probably still has- Oh no, that's another flyer. Oh! God damn it! Can't- Can't beat rats. I can't beat them. Summer? Making that an even 50, I see. Summer, thank you, thank you. You got raffle tickets for tonight's uh, death wagon seat. Alright. So this deck- I am very sad, guys. This deck is pretty dang good. And it didn't do very well. Four wins is pretty poopy. We did mull, I think, six out of seven games or something. Mull to five. Maybe a little bit of exaggeration, but it's real close. The name of this song is... Uh, Come Back For You by... Elephant Matluck? That's a nice badge to have. Yes, it is. Thank you again. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. If you enjoyed the content, please click the link below to check out our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. Without them, none of this content would be possible and they've actually given us a 5% off code. So check that out. Also a big, big thank you to all of you who have signed up for my Patreon. Many of you guys see your names here on this screen. And again, none of this content would be possible without you. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.